Lengthy discussions continue about the future of the Portland Police Bureau. Now the new Portland Police Association president is weighing in on the mayor's proposal to refund and restaff the bureau. Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz went one on one with them today. She joins us live now. Sarah, what's his vision for officers? Oh yeah, PPA President Aaron Schmout says that he is encouraged by where the city seems to be going with the potential to invest in more community safety, but he does feel that there needs to be clear leadership and direction in terms of what the city expects of its officers. What do you make of this kind of back and forth aspect here? We had city council strip yep. the bureau. Yep. Um, and now we have the mayor coming back and saying we want to restaff and we want to add more funding back right. to the Bureau. Well, I mean, I think what's difficult is, again, we have what I think was kind of a political decision um, to take money, and it's happened all over the country, and we've seen all over the country immediately significant backlash as a result of that, and cities becoming much less safer. Everything that's been cut in Portland, our traffic division, you know, our school uh, resource officers and our gun violence team, there's been equal and opposite and immediate hurt there, and the same thing all over the country, and so officers, they just want to be supported and they want to be able to go and do their job. And I think what's become very difficult is just mixed messaging and you know unclear expectations. And so really what officers are looking for is some level of stability, some level of support and clear expectations from their leadership about what they want to have happen. Part of the mayor's proposal was, you know, 200 armed officers yep. within the next uh, three years, starting yep. the next fiscal year, and then 100 of those be unarmed community safety specialists. Yep. How do you feel about that dynamic? We, we endorse any plan, any group of, of city employees or volunteers or other community-based organizations. We want to partner with them and make sure, again, that our role in it is something that we understand and we make sure that they're successful in partnering with us. Would the numbers in terms of staffing levels that the mayor is proposing would that get the bureau back to where it needs to be? No. Um, so, and I mean, look, the, the thing that's really difficult is right now, we are so far away from what I think a properly staffed bureau would be that the numbers sound kind of shocking. And I think I don't want to come off as like overly optimistic, but the FBI has standards for where cities should be. And it's about 2.4 per thousand. Uh, we're not near that. You need about 800 plus officers to get there. But I also don't want to sound like, you know, if someone says, hey, we, can, we need 200 more officers, I think it's a good starting point. $25,000 a bonus uh, that the mayor proposed for new recruits yep. as an incentive to get people uh, interested in, in working for the Portland mm -hmm. Police Bureau. What do you make of that? So again, I can't talk about specific numbers. Um, and again, you know, I appreciate the mayor looking for solutions uh, to the problem and trying to figure out how to get people here. Um, hiring incentives and bonuses are not something that's new in the police industry. You're seeing billboards all over the country for different agencies. And Aaron Schmautz also said that the union has never been against body cameras, which is what the mayor is also proposing. And Sarah, with the mayor's proposal, he's looking to add back hundreds of officers to the bureau. Are you finding that that's getting a lot of support with community organizations? Yeah, well, I spoke with one outreach worker, and you'll hear more from him coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. He says that we do need some form of police, but they're not the only solution. Again, you'll hear from him coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. For now, reporting live here in downtown Portland, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.